Morning, Republican Senator Josh Hawley of Missouri has just confirmed that he will object to electoral college votes. We're going to be taking a look at what this means heading forward on January 6th for the election between Joe Biden and Donald Trump and how this actually looks very, very good for Donald Trump at this time. If you support our current president, Donald John Trump, thumbs up the video, comment your support if you stand with him and if you stand a fair and honest election. Let's take a look at everything going on. Uh, we now have um, Josh Hawley, a Republican Missouri senator, said he will object during the counting of the Electoral College. Let's take a look at his statement. He said, I cannot vote to certify the Electoral College results on January 6th without raising the fact that some states, particularly Pennsylvania, fail to follow their own state election laws. And I cannot vote to certify without uh, pointing out the unprecedented effort of mega corporations, including Facebook and Twitter, to interfere in this election in support of Joe Biden. And he said, for these reasons, I will uh, object during the elect during the certification process on January 6th to raise these critical issues. Now, I do believe that other senators as well will step up to object. And the reason why this is really good news for uh for, for basically for everyone, <laughs> for Donald Trump's 500 million followers around the world who are hoping for a Donald Trump win is because now on January 6th, it's actually going to lead and uh, let, let's take a look. What, what happens if, so basically we have dozens of House, uh, members of the House of Representatives who have said they will object, but we haven't heard from any senators saying that, confirm that they will object. Um, we just heard people say that they will. But now, as of today, as of an hour ago, we have Josh Hawley, a senator from Missouri, saying that he will object. So now this raises huge power. And now let's just read what happens. Now they can raise an objection together. You need one, basically one person from each uh, chamber. So if, if an objection is filed during the joint session for key states that cast electoral college votes for Joe Biden, each chamber will have to hold a debate for two hours on whether to disqualify states' votes. Then a vote will have to be held in each chamber on whether to throw the votes out. So, yeah, guys, this is breaking news, um, huge news. I will keep you all up to date with exactly what happens um, going forward. I'm sure Donald Trump will be talking about this today, and I'm sure other Republican senators will be stepping up to the plate as well. And this also opens up the door for Mike Pence, who has some power as well, in these electoral college votes. So January 6th is definitely not like a certification day for Joe Biden. It's more like a big day for Donald Trump to like, you know, actually get his votes certified. We have seven states who have submitted an alternate slate of electors for Donald Trump, basically GOP electors for their votes to be counted. And a lot of these states votes could be thrown out depending on how many senators step up. So keep urging your senators to step up as well. So, um, and yeah, guys, thanks for watching. Let's stay tuned for more updates. Bye guys.